and nine, boy, back again. Getting ready for the USA. About nine and a half weeks out. Running about 255 pounds. Pretty good shape. Got to come in and tear somebody's head off this time. Last time was a tie, so I got to take a turn. You know? Today's back chisel day. But it's still intense and it's really hard. Learned that from Charles Glass over there. He's over there trying to hide. <laughs> That's the man. And that is the man for this year. USA. He was one of the first guys that John ever trained, John Brown, back in the 80s. So he was the first guy that started the circle. Then it was Vince Taylor, then me, and I'm just gonna continue the little motion, so. Hey, Melvin's right. Uh, all the success that I've, I've experienced, uh, at least the beginning stages came from John Brown, who got me started. And from there, he got Vince Taylor. He won the 88 national champions, I won in 87. And then from there, we've kind of, me and Vince, through John's help, I've gotten other people involved, and John found Melvin a couple years ago, and you know, Melvin got set first runner up for the USA, and he's the favorite for this year's USA. So it is a pretty good fraternity here in bodybuilding. And uh, at one time or another, we've all trained here at Goals in Venice. And it just so happens, uh, me and Melvin are both from Orange County. We train at Powerhouse Gym in Fullerton. John trains at Powerhouse in Fullerton. So we're keeping it all in the family. Melvin's gonna be going places, hopefully, that I've already gone. And through mine and John's help, we'll be able to guide his career a little bit and show him what to expect. But in the gym, it's all him. He's got to earn it. There he is. Right there. Anybody you see holding that bar for support, usually, unless they have a hurt back, you should never do it. I always do it that way to where I'm pulling them, extending my, my back, contracting all the way to the top, but not using the bar or any kind of bench for support. I just use my knee. That way you can't cheat. No way you can cheat.
Stage, it look like a cape, like Batman. It look like a start, a strong wind came like a fly away. Hey. Actually, I'm nine and a half weeks out right now. I'm about 252 pounds after my first meal in the morning. So I'm 252. Don't know what my body fat is. Not really worried about it right now. So I'm just gonna stay on track, keep my protein really high, keep doing my cardio and see what happens. We'll do it again a couple weeks from now, and we'll see. It's on. <laughs> Mad circle, baby. We're just having a conversation with 1999 Mr. USA, which everybody's predicting that he's gonna win. All I want to do is, to, you know what? You know, a lot of people think like, you know, we'd be giving advice and shit like that. We just be sharing information. Ain't no advice you can give somebody like this because he's already got given talent, you know. And I think the only difference between all of us who are so gifted is our mentality, the way we think, you know, up in our head, you know, when we train in our ability not to give in and not to surrender and everything. So all I want to say to him is just, man, just drive, you know, just feel it, just believe it. It's all over with. It's all over with overall. And he'll be at the Iron Man. He's gonna take that next year too. For sure. Really, on a new millennium. Go eat, baby. It's time for the go eat. Gotta go eat. I'm out. All right. All right, Rico. Time to go feed this muscle, baby. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Melvin. No problem. All right, man. on the curls, 15 to 20 reps heavy on the triceps without stopping. Going back to back, giant sets. Not an easy thing, but it works. Come on. Uh, this is that, baby. Uh, 
side. What you do, you know, it's in, and then you let it go, yeah. the time, and then you hit it again. No. When you turn it aside, make sure it's, it's I, in. Because you your weight is so tiny. Don't let it, oh yeah. Don't let it, you know, Never, under no circumstances. Right. Do that again, Melvin. You, can you back him? Not very well. You got to practice that. I, I have been for years. You got to you, you you practice do it. at home. I do, I lay on the ground. So I lay on the ground, I suck in. I've been doing it for years. I can't only do it so far. My, it don't curl under. Have you tried it? I'm going to throw up. I'm trying to. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. There's a little fucking question. There's a side you got to get. Look at that. When you compare the other side, it's like a totally different person. Push down. It feels mean, awkward, but you definitely got a better size. Oh, man. It's night and day, man. I'm telling you. Okay, look at this, look at this. Just hang it like that. Arch your back more. Check more, back. more, more. Lean back more. Right there. <laughs> that's when you want to just sit. And that's when you look at the knots. I'm telling you, you sit right there. And then you go into it. But then it was like that. It's like a secret. You got to go like this, about One, two, three, and then four. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Cap, hamstring, back, and then yeah. turn your head. Yeah. They think with like the numbers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'd be like this, it'd be like cap, hamstring, butt, back, right? So think from the ground up. The biggest mistake, you always do that. You don't sit on it. You gotta sit on it, let them just enjoy that. No, but that's, you your, best, do that, that's your best body part. Give us time. No, 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 no. So you get around there and you just sit. You just take your time, baby. Don't worry about nothing. Lift my hand. Lift it? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, just you know, try it. Put your weight on your front. See? No. See? Yeah. See yeah. when you do it? Yeah. This, when this comes up, you just like, you want to do that staying yeah. hamstring cool. Right. This is how, since that's your best body part, right? They're going to call you out to hit that buffer several times. So if you come out there and just do this, yeah. there it is. They've seen it. Make it work. Come up here, come back here, come out there, come Bring out out there, there. Boom. start over. You know, take your time. You got to hit it a bunch of different times. So every time you want to stop like yeah. that. Don't do that. You notice Paul that every time he gets up there, bash up. <laughs> first what? one in, first one out. Come up there, take your fucking time. Come in. Stretch in the air. Yeah. 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 You're sick. 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 you are sick you are Start doing Jurassic shit, don't eat after six, and fucking five hours of cardio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's where guys fuck up, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Start trying to do crazy stuff. You know, I need to eat raisins. Yeah. yeah. I need a glass of whiskey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need some wine. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I see some crazy stuff trying to get you see that. most of, 80% of the mad circle started out by John Brown. I'm just finishing it up. Got 45 minutes of cardio. Burn a little bit of fat. Stay on my game plan. As of today, I'm 250 pounds. It's pretty tight. See what happens next week. I got taurine and I have BCAAs and 1.5 grams of HMB. I'm about to show you the Guinness Book of World's Record taking all pills at once. But you only can do it if you got a deep throat. <laughs> Show you how it's done. Got some creatine, glutamine mixed in my drink. What you do is stuff ball in your mouth, relax your throat. Gone. <laughs> That's about 15 pills. You get tired of taking two here, two there, so I like the down at one.
drink my protein shake after because I like to get that protein and carbs in right after I train. But when I'm going straight from that to cardio, from my training to cardio, I like to get most of my protein in. So I take in about 60 grams of protein uh, using Sport Pharma Pro Max, which is a pretty good product to go for. It's not real expensive. Suck that down with a little vitamin C, some potassium, magnesium, because you burn off those minerals during your workout. You excrete a lot of salt out of your pores, zinc, magnesium, potassium, and vitamin C especially. So vitamin C helps to helps your body not to break down those, those muscle fibers. Drink that down, and I'm here. I'm doing this cardio for about 45 minutes. Really burn that fat off. You gotta get that muscle into condition. Only way you're gonna do that is to do cardio. I don't care how good your diet is. If you ain't doing no cardio, a guy like me is gonna tear you a new butthole. So either you're gonna do it or you're not. If you're not, go play golf, play tennis, do something else. Bodybuilding is a diehard sport. It's not necessarily an individual sport, but it's a sport where you need to be around positive people. And I'm fortunate enough to be around guys like Flex Wheeler, Sean Ray, my trainer, John Brown, Milo Starkev, Charles Glass, uh, guys like Rico, Rico McClinton, David Young. All these guys are good amateur and professional champions. Chris Cormier helps out when he can. Being around people like that really helps you out. You know, from time to time, I see Paul Dillette in Venice. If I have any questions, I can always go to him and ask. A lot of people don't believe that they can ask a pro a question and uh, get it out of them, being afraid. But my mother always taught me, ask and you shall receive. If you don't ask, how are you going to know? You know, tell me no. I'll take a chance. And I've been fortunate enough to be around guys like that to tell me what to, what to do. And it helped me along the way. It makes it easier to win contests. You just can't go in trying to know everything, because I don't know everything. You know, I've learned a lot about my body. I've learned a lot about nutrition, supplementation, everything. And those are the elements. As far as eating, sleeping, and training, that's just a part of it. You also have to take in the right amount of uh, supplements. You gotta know what to take, how long to take it. The food's gotta be right, and you have to have a, a right amount of sleep. And if your mind isn't set on training, like I say, you gotta do something else. To die hard, you gotta have the shoes to walk through hell. If you ain't got the shoes, don't try to walk, you're gonna burn your feet. You know? With me, it's, I gotta win. I don't go for a contest and train and do all this sweating and moving all this iron trying to go into a contest to take second or third place. I'm going in to win. And you gotta think like that. You have to believe it. You gotta know it. You know? You don't have to be cocky, but just like I'm on a seek and destroy mission. I have a lot of friends that are gonna be doing this show. And I talk to them all the time, hang out, play with them. When it comes showtime, they're my biggest enemy. You know, I'm trying to take them out. Even though they're nice people, they got to go down. It's me or them. You know, and if they're not thinking the same way I am, then their competitiveness is not at, 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 at its highest intensity. So, even when I'm riding this bike, and I'm talking to you right now on the camera, all the guys out there that have bought this video, I'm still concentrating on what I want to do. I'm seeing how I want my body to look. You know, your mind takes over. You have to know how you want to look on stage. You want to be full, you want to be big, you want to be dense, you want to be ripped. If you don't think about it, have it in your mind, it'll never happen. And what you say comes to pass. You will reap what you sow. So I say to myself, I'm gonna be a professional bodybuilder come July 31st. I'll be that overall winner. And then I'll go straight from there to the Ironman. I'm not going to wait for a year like the rest of these cats trying to improve. If you're not qualified to go pro, and you're not qualified to, to deal with the guys on the pro circuit, then ain't no way in hell you should be a pro. You know? So you got to know it. You got to believe it. I will show up at the Ironman, and I will be training to win it. I'm not going to train to play six and just get some money. You know? I'm looking for the long haul. I'm going after Mr. Olympia. He's a good friend of mine. But he got to go down. That's how it is. And if I wasn't trained like that, then that'd be a downfall on my part. If you want to be the best in the world, you got to think that you can do it. 
I think I can do it. I think I have the, the, the genetics to do it. So I'm going to get my body to the highest potential and uh, see what we can do about it. In the new Mecca, where the real boys train, it's Milo Sarchev, one of the new owners. Big Mike over there, one of the other owners. Zero. What's going about on? to take over. You know, come on down to Fullerton, California, where it's really at. After the USA, we have another pro added on to the to the highlight. His name is Athletes. Melvin Anthony. So that's how we're gonna end it. I'm gonna drink my protein shake, do my cardio, and then I'm gonna go eat some food. <laughs> so see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's leg day. That's a last Come on. offensive line right here. You need to have that drive, you know. Sometimes playing a team sport, you get a different kind of fire. You know, they say bodybuilding is a selfish sport, but you always need to get that extra energy from someone else. You know, since he's been there, done that. You know, been in the trenches with guys 50 pounds heavier than him, hitting him up outside the head in the helmets. It's real dangerous up in there, so when he comes to the gym, he has a different kind of fire that I have. All I have to do is lift weights. So it's good to watch him train because he's strong. Squat seven place here, guy hitting six place for reps. It gives you a different kind of energy. It makes you want to train harder. So I like to get that kind of energy from people and take it to the next level. Since I know I'm on low carbs, I know I'm tired, watching that guy train, it makes it easy for me to finish. So, so I work out this morning, I work out to the end of the day, I'm kind of drained, but it's all on the mind. You can't let your mind get to you. No matter what, low carbs don't matter. It's all in the brain, you gotta finish. Separate the men from the boys.
in, breathe. Front squats cut off the air sometimes. You have to make sure the bar is positioned right across the shoulder blades. Because at any time they can roll backwards or forward. So I try to use these two fingers to stay in control of the bar to make sure it doesn't roll either way. But also, my range of motion is very strict. Push that muscle to the point where it's ready to just pop. You know? Sense blood in the thighs very quickly. Faster than squats, I think. So, you really gotta go at it hard. Welcome to the Terror Dome, baby. Ace! Right. Ace! Ace! One. like that, like four plates. Push them down like they paper. They expect me to come in looking the same last year, but I improve every year. Making my business. That's what bodybuilding's all about. Make your body the best it can be. Do two warm ups here. Straight sets, warm my legs. And then I'll do two, two giant supersets. I don't recommend anybody that don't got no heart to do it. I don't wish that on nobody. Yeah. The total of 70 reps. 15, pause, 12, pause, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. You make it through that, you're a badass. Yep. The leg blitz. Three weeks out. I won't stop. Blue tie-in, reverse hack squat. Sometimes I can do them, sometimes I can't. Depends on how long my knees are. I'm trying to pump them up, stay focused. Making pretty good time. I've been working out about 40 minutes now. So now it's just weight, heavy, with speed. Gives you kind of like a cardiovascular and a weight training regimen at the same time. Works out good, burning fat, keep that muscle strong, massive and dense, all, the, all together.
countdown, eight days left. So it's really a, a lot of reps, a lot of uh, concentration, contractions. So, carb depleting, I'm running on fumes, but I gotta do it. I got to win. Greg Hines, another bodybuilding buff. He goes next. That's right. His turn. His word is bonds. He says goes. Huh? How you doing, man? That's good. You gonna get in here? Yeah, you wanna go? Two more sets. Okay, go ahead. not too light, but working for the burn, the detail, chiseling, working those quick twitch fibers. It's all about position, it's all about contraction, it's all about how you apply it. Seven, eight days out, it doesn't matter. Everything counts, every rip counts. Everything has to be full motion, you know? It's just like flexing on stage. The only way you're gonna win is if you do things perfectly, you know? You can get away with all that half rep stuff in the off season because you have more water around your joints, you have more uh, more flexibility in the in the muscle in the joints. But once you get eight days out when the water's gone, you ain't got nothing left but muscle. So you gotta work that muscle. And that's what I'm doing here today. Chiseling that chest out. Make it work for me.
Last one. Last serious back workout. Monday and Tuesday is all circuit training. That'll be it. Real close now, six days. Feeling good. My God, it's unbelievable. That pain, it's a good pain. I feel like my back's gonna explode. Whew. That's a giant set. I always do that in my last set. Giant sets are good. A lot of reps, heavy. A lot of guys wanna do that close to the contest. I'm willing to do it. Finished on my back routine. Ran into my first guy at 13 years old. Ever took me to the gym. Gave me my first really shot of hard training. This man right here is strong. One of the first guys that ever told me I had potential to go pro. What's up, man? You know, besides John Brown. But that was the first guy that told me I had a good physique and to keep training, you know? And that's one of the things that kept me out of gangs and kept me out of trouble, was that fire, you know? If I didn't have training, lifting no weights, I wouldn't have had nothing. So, you know, it's a lot sweeter win going in circles. I haven't seen this guy in 12 years. So it's really unfortunate for me to see him at the end, right before I'm gonna go pro, see him again, you know? It makes me feel good. And he sees to get to see me cross over the line. You know, because a lot of guys make it to the pro, to the pro rankings as far as on the national level, but they never make it to the pro. So we really get a chance to see me jump that fence and get out with the big boys. So I'm really happy that he's around. We can see it's all going, going down, you know? So I'm gonna be able to make the win much sweeter. So do my last set. Straight down. There you go. Good. Down deep.
famous. I have her on my wall. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Still working out. <laughs> He looks right on. Got a slight film of water. You can get some sun this week and uh, tighten up the skin just a little bit more, but this is where you want to be a week out from a contest. Where you don't have to do anything drastic, you don't have to mess around with your carbs and sodium and all that stuff. He dialed in, you know. The good thing about Melvin is once he started, and sometimes getting second is the best medicine. You get second, it sucks. Everybody says, oh, that's great, but getting second sometimes is the worst thing that can happen to an athlete. Because they go back to the gym, they train that much harder and they learn from their mistakes and they try a little bit harder and they put more effort into it. And One week out, all I've got for him as advice is uh, to continue doing what he's been doing, continue posing, get a little bit more color. And on Thursday, he's just have to manipulate his water just a little bit. But what you see here won't be too much different than what you see on Saturday. A little bit of pro tan, a little bit of sun, that'll be the polish on the finished uh, product. And hopefully he'll get his pro card and I'll see him at, on stage at the Pro Ironman in the uh, year 2000. Um, the good thing about Melvin is, is that he's still, he still doesn't believe he's capable. Very humble bodybuilder, and I like that. And um, when he finally does get his just dues, uh, I feel like I was a part of it because uh, it's kind of his mentor, you know, showing him the way and how to get there, keeping him level-headed. And the good thing about Melvin is uh, he doesn't forget where he came from and doesn't forget who helped him. So it'll be nice competing against him once he does get into the pro ranks, qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and go head-to-head. -head. Um, he'll be a great champion. Well, basically. We've been taping this for about, what, six weeks now? So six weeks of hardcore training. You've seen the breakdown. You've seen the supersets. You've seen giant sets. You've seen everything possible that I could do and I could, that I could show you to take me to the top. So best thing to do for each individual is to take it in stride, take everything with a grain of salt, and uh, take what you like out of it and see if it works for you. You know, I'm always available for guest posings and all that, so get a hold of me at the USA and you'll see what, it, what I'll do on stage. This is it, a couple hours before I go on stage. It's now five minutes to six. Pretty amped, carving up, eating this potato right here. And uh, I'm gonna take in this whole uh, potato here, drink a little water feel that uh, I have a really great chance of winning this show. Uh, there's got a lot of be a good competitors. I know it's not going to be easy, but uh, I think I have uh, the weapons to win. Uh, they're in my backyard, so uh, I'm ready to get it on. Nothing else to be said, but let's do it. Weighed in at 229 and a half pounds, and uh, I'm ready to go, shred it. The guy that beat me, Dennis James is a great guy, and he had the weapons that I didn't have for that day. Uh, this time I trained for the guy I haven't seen, which I did last year, and uh, I saw Jeff put on the table. You know, it's, it's up to the judges. Uh, I did my work, so it's really uh, nothing I can do about it now. You know, I'm ready to go. I can promise them. I'm gonna take it home for sure. I'm ready, and I think uh, I really believe in myself and what uh, my capabilities are, and uh, I got the juice to do it. So I'm gonna bring it home. And that's a guarantee. Your, your skin looks thin too. Just, yeah, I can see that pain. So now it's uh, come down to the last minute. Only thing now is you just uh, you got to get ready to go pro. Whole different ball game then. You eating a lot? You got to eat a lot. I mean steaks. Just eat them, eat them, eat them. But eat like crazy. Man. Uh, I got jelly, jelly and uh, banana. Eat every 30 minutes. Stay, stay, eat them all. Just a lot. Stay. Don't drink a lot. Eat, eat, eat. I'm not eat. Right there. That's why you got to do. That ain't, you understand? Because it, it, this is deep now. Side right here, you know what I'm saying? Remember how we saw the video today? John, John, John. Don't hit it hard. Just, just play some. Lean forward now. Now roll it. Bend over. Yeah. Cool. 
Take arms out. Triceps. That's it. That's it, dog. No, 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 no. That's enough. That's enough. There you go. This is going to be the man this year. Why Oops, I'm doing ain't gonna be no more ties. Yeah, no more ties. <laughs> ain't gonna be no tie breaker. Yeah. It's gonna be a bone breaker. That's what I'm talking about. How many they call you? Man, fuck you. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. Eat that shit up. <laughs> hey, you like the way you're cooking? Yeah. Is cool? Yeah. 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 All up, they're good. Make sure they put that shit in their hand. Check the hands.